guys, I'm just outside Planet Hollywood. Just wanted to show you how chaotic it is. <laughs> so that you know what to expect. It's Monday night, nothing special. It's June, so summertime kind of has started. Blasting music all the way here. Couple of street performers. A beautiful cosmopolitan on that side, really beautiful, Day classy, classy. I school party. Not quite so classy here, but many of you will like it. It's uh, lively, you know. This was used to. They used to have so many great competitions where you could always win something. Gamblers, we used to love it, but now everything's changed. It's all about beer, booze, and partying. And of course, the slot machines are still there. They just take more money quickly. <laughs> no, it's not true. Some places you can still gamble all night long, get comped, and it's not too bad. It's not too expensive. You can recycle a couple of hundred dollars and you get nights for free, buffet for free. Works out. You get treated well. But you gotta watch, in my opinion, in my opinion, which casinos to gamble in. I think there are differences. It could be just my experience, my friend's experience, uh, people that uh, do this with me, their experience. But when it's too many people, it begins to be a pattern. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go back to Aria. But I wanted to show you what I, when the fun stops on the strip. This is just an example, for example, you know? You just, this side of the strip, and then some other sections on the other side, but you gotta watch out because sometimes you cannot walk along the strip. They make you do all of this. You come into the Planet Hollywood, you gotta go all the way back, all the way practically by the entrance, and then you turn, I mean, it's so frustrating. It should not have been allowed. Um, I don't like it every time, you know, let's go for a nice stroll on the strip. Well, forget about that. It's not a nice stroll on the strip. It's a struggle on the strip. <laughs> um, sometimes when I want to enjoy the strip, you know what I do? I come late. When everybody's gambling in the casino, they're sleeping. Come like at three o'clock at night. It's totally different. You can still enjoy everything. Not quite so the Bellagio Fountains, but um, it's, it's a little bit easier though, the, the, the zigzagging is still there. So now I'm all the way back to the entrance. Smart, huh? And now I'm gonna have to go all the way back onto the strip, or rather, onto the bridge that will connect me to yet another resort. So basically, I showed you in my other video, but there are sections of the strip that are not walkable, basically. So, if you only have a couple of days and you just want to do the strip, I think it might be better, I don't know, to rent a car and just drive it along the strip. <laughs> Decide which area is for you, stop and take a look. I mean, you could do the strip, you could walk the strip, no problem, but it's very hot. You might want to do it during low season or when it's less hot. It's very hot. Some of you, I don't think they're going to do it. You're gonna do it. I mean, some of you might be, it might be too much for some of you. If you're young and fit, no problem. I walk fast, so, you know, but it's still taking a toll on me too. And I do exercise every day. So finally, I'm making my way out of Planet Hollywood area. I haven't actually stepped onto the strip so far. I mean, like the actual strip. Oh, and then of course now we're gonna do another zigzag here. It's terrible. And I got the feeling that you just like it, it, this 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 atmosphere. Is it for everybody? Like I'm not 20, guys. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm not old. But it's like come on, you know. We're not all teenagers here. This forced feeling of, of party time and blasting music all the time, it's kind of boring to me. Uh, especially, you know, if it's the first time, you know, you're gonna be excited. But after that, you know what it's all, it's all about, you know? Give us some more Bellagio Fountain shows. Give us some more wind waterfalls. Give us something that actually is gonna be refreshing. Give us a nice bar that you actually wanna sit at. That's me. Oh my God. 
sorry guys. Now I'm gonna go all the way up there because you know there's no way you can walk and then I'm gonna end up somewhere between Aria and Cosmopolitan struggling on my way back to Aria and I did show you my other video uh, well there's another video where I will show you basically the section from here to uh, MGM and on the other side after city center you know Monte Carlo and New York New York that's awful you know if this wasn't enough this finding your way through it that's a nice area actually just down to cosmopolitan but it's only a little section then you have to struggle your way through those buildings and there's a zigzag bit before area that you don't even imagine i've got another video for that and uh wow that's all i have to say i want to show the entrance of the area that i think is less exciting even for those who don't mind as long as you guys see lights and and, and you hear music you're happy even for those of you I think it might be a little bit off-putting it's just not pretty right and on the other hand where well, you know if everything was if everything were the way let's say at the Mirage or along Venetian or along Bellagio or even along Paris then it would be very nice to walk along the strip but it isn't all the new remodeling has been done with absolutely zero consideration for what makes walking beautiful and that's why you've got so many hundreds of cars and that's why even we even we were beaten and we ended up renting a car we rented a car for the whole of the three weeks it's very cheap by the way we have a section on that a few tips on how to rent a car and how to spend a little money but um, it's a shame and then you see all of this you know you got you're gonna be forced to go all the way there and forced to go all the way it's really far guys you know it's hot and it's unpleasant I know I moan and many of you will say oh you moan too much but I'm gonna tell you this is gonna this is not a video all oh, hunky-dory this is gonna be the harsh truth <laughs> and yet it's a shame because I'm gonna go now oh by the way the other one by the Cromwell the escalators going up weren't working so some people will have a heart attack walking these stairs it's a long walk in the heat so it's a shame in my opinion because I think there is an element of enjoying yourself whilst to walk you walk along the streets of any town of any city and it should not be impossible to do so because otherwise you don't get to enjoy all the whole thing you just get to enjoy little bits and then big complexes very difficult to walk through now I'm back on top of the same bridge that I was at when uh, I started this trip. Of course the bridge has glass so that nobody throws themselves off. And that has kind of ruined a little bit the view. But at least it's glass, you know. And uh, that's a beautiful marquee nightclub, by the way. Beautiful. So Cromwell kind of was inspired. This is my assumption kind of in this style so to speak um, and then uh, this Harmon Towers did you know that this is actually not a functioning tower there are some uh, faults in the construction so all it is it's a big billboard well that's a lot of money wasted isn't it that's nothing nothing at all and then you've got Aria there and Mandarin Oriental but that section there that I see right now there is the zigzagging and confused section just underneath the area. You don't know where you are and how you get there. And then there is all this low, lower class entertainment on the right. Okay, that's it. It's time for me to stop talking. And then, you know, there are people always begging for money, which is kind of sad. People taking pictures, street vendors, all sorts. That's, you find it pretty much everywhere, so you find it in Vegas as well. Now, as I say, I'm gonna go that way, find, trying to cross to Aria. Good luck, everybody trying. Uh, Aria is back there, by the way. You've got this Harmon Tower that is non-functional because of structural problems. So you kind of, that's kind of ruined the walk because you have to go outside, you can't go through it. So there is this walkway, which is still construction. It's 2014 and they have not managed to actually have a functioning walkway. A walkway that actually feels decent. It just, it, it upsets me guys, because 
I think we deserve better. I mean, how difficult is it to get this thing working? It's been like this for years. Building demolition in progress, you see what I mean? This building is going to be demolished. So there's going to be another update at some point. Of course, it makes you feel a bit strange, doesn't it? Walking next to a building that is condemned. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Don't want to do that. There's nothing pretty about this. In the past, it used to be all around quad. You would walk like this. At least that was not condemned, the old Imperial Palace. But this one, I mean, it doesn't, it's not dusty. Look at this. Look at this. It's been like this for a long time. Now it's going to be demolished, finally. And God knows what's going to be on top of it. You'll find out. We'll have updates. But it's going to be work in progress for another long time. Though things are built quickly here in Vegas. Huh? Uh, but still, this is why when you pass Cosmopolitan, you have to really brace yourself because there's this ridiculous zigzagging onto the area. The area, forget it. Just to go to your room is going to take you a day. I mean, an hour for sure. Of course, you know, by the time you get, you hit the slot machines, you will collapse and you end up gambling, of course, so watch out. Crystals. Crystals is nice and airy. I like Crystals. This is where we are now. Keep going for the Aria Resort and Casino then the, and the Las Vegas Strip. What Las Vegas Strip? There is no Las Vegas Strip. It's a zigzag. It's a ma'am. It's a labyrinth. At least this side of the Strip. Oh. Well, as you can tell, I've been walking all day long in this heat. I wouldn't recommend it at all. And I had water. Wouldn't recommend it. You know, lots of nice stores, high-end stores, you know. I have a video on, we have a video on crystals already. Nice structure in the middle. Well, it's nice, you know, but you have to really like just buildings. I liked, I liked, say, Mirage, Wynn, Bellagio. Anything that's tropical because we are in the desert and unless you give me a desert type uh, resort, you know, um, glorifying the desert, then I want tropical and I want water. And I got none of this. It's all these buildings. I am not into this, guys, anymore. I thought I never was. But I have to admit, it's pleasant to be here. It's pleasant to have a cup of coffee. It's pleasant to have a, something to drink. But it is a, just a bit modern building. It doesn't have a theme, okay? Like, for example, Venetian has a theme. And it's beautiful.